Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of Let's Build a Modded World. We're building up some sort of like medieval city slash castle kind of thing here. And we started with the barracks. Uh, we've been working on the wall over the past couple of episodes. And in this episode I want to finish this sort of section of the wall that we've got going on here because we've got this massive gatehouse here that, that needs doing. You know, there needs to be work done on this. It's the only bit of the wall that we haven't done. We stretch the wall out to here. Obviously, this wall is going to go much, much further out. You know, this isn't going to be just where it goes to. It is going to go a lot further out. But for the time being, as it stands right now, it's just here. And I want to talk about just briefly a couple of future plans for this. I'm going to put a couple of shops here. And I'm thinking about what shops that I want to put here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mob shop that sells mob drops. And I'm also going to put a shop that sells uh, deco craft stuff. So the shop, the deco craft shop, will stock clay. It'll stock rose red, cactus green, and lapis lazuli, blue dye. But we'll worry about like kind of how I'm going to work that later because I'm 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 unsure at this point how that's going to work. So got a lot of, of um. A lot of thinking to do on that one because obviously I want to make sure that we have the lapis. We obviously have a lot of lapis, but I don't want to utilize all of the lapis. Now we could easily set up an ME system that will uh, keep a certain amount of lapis behind and send some off to, to where it needs to go. But I don't kind of want that. I kind of want uh, the shops to be stocked first, then our systems second. You know, so we'll, we'll work that out. You know, again, I don't know exactly how I'm going to work that out, but we'll work something out uh, when it comes to that. Now, let's get working on the skate house because what I want to do is I want to let's get us to look pretty cool. You know, so let's let's just grab some stone brick stairs first. Uh, not slabs, stairs. Actually, we could utilize slabs, I suppose, as well. Um, nope, not those. So that should be enough, and we'll just grab a bunch of stone uh, stone brick. I know I have a bunch there. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. This is where we're going to start. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with the arch and how we want the arch to look. See, that makes it look very triangular, and I don't like that. So what about if we were to go maybe like that? I, I, I don't know. Maybe if we were to go, no, because all slabbing it would do is just create what we don't want it to create. So if we do that, and I could have sworn that I grabbed some slabs, so I could have sworn I did. Let's go grab some slabs. I want to get this archway sort of the first thing done. Okay, so stone slabs. Did I, did I put them all back? Um, we had some. There they are. Well, I only need the one. Well, I need the one. So let's see. Let's see if we put this. What if we do that? That gives us a bit of an archway. You know, there is also option number two that we could try. This entranceway here goes off to our ally, Jace. So from a law perspective, we wouldn't really need a gated entrance here, you know. We've had nothing but kindness and, and goodwill and a couple of harmless pranks off of him. Nothing to suggest that there would be any malice. So maybe we try something a little bit different rather than having a, a, an actual like gate gate house here. Maybe we have a different kind of entrance. Maybe what we do is this is just an idea. Not sure how this is going to go over, but let's let's find the center here, which is obviously here is the center. So the center of this bit is here. What about if we were to do? 
think I've got one too many here. What happens if we were to do this? Like that. We could even do that, but I think no. I think what we do here is just that. What if here we had two doors going in and out? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Would it not? Rather than one central door. I actually think I'd like this to be a little bit grander. So what about if we went one higher? Um, what about if we just made it like that? That's pretty good. But I think uh, we could take this one more. Maybe add a slab there. What, what, what would that look like? Uh, what about if we were to add that in there? No, I think adding this slab and bringing it down like that gives me the kind of look that I'm going for. Yeah, I rather like that. I think that that's the better way forth. And this is what I try and illustrate with my builds here on the channel. is It's not always first time perfect. You know, so A lot of the time it's, you know, this is going to bother me if these are slabs. A lot of the time, it's practice makes perfect. You know, you gotta you gotta keep trying to to get what you want. You know, you can't just give up. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, we don't need one big gated entrance. We just need a couple of doors. You know, what we'd probably do here is also go. Like this, like this, like this, and like that. Hmm. I'm just thinking about this a little bit more. What about if in these towers we had, ooh. we do that. We do that, that. Let's bring this out one more. We go like that, and we go like that. So we've got these archway doors into this area. So we're going to move this out one, like so. Bring that over. Bring this out one on the inside, like so. Create it as an arch. Yep, liking that. And then I need some spruce wood. I should have brought some spruce wood out with me. Ah, I tell you, I made a modular tablet to keep everything in. And, well, it didn't exactly work. So, spruce. There we go. Let's transfer that into these. Pop that into those. And what I'm thinking is if we go down here, we can actually have like gated off areas. Well, actually, that would be a door. And so would that. There we go. See, now we've got that. And now let's let's think about how we want the internals to be here. Hmm. I think I'd like a little like shutter thing to be able to come down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um Yeah, we're going to create a place for this, like this, look. This is what we're going to do, okay? Now, there is something that we can try here, but I'm not sure how this is going to work. But we'll give it a go. 
If we go to carpenters, we get these, uh, not hatches. I thought I had some of them. They're called garage doors. Yes, they are. Let's make a couple of these. Oh. Right, we can utilize these to possibly make a gate. So let's just pop them. Does it have to be... How do I do these again? Right, they go like that. So they have to be on a block. So if we say that we're going to... Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's just see if these work before we start figuring out the logistics of it all. Let's see if it... Okay, so if we put him there, that definitely gives us some depth, but not the kind of depth that I'm... But not the way that I'm, I'm wanting it to go at. I would like it to be on this particular side of the blocks. What if I was to stand here? Ah, yes, 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 yes. That does it. Okay, so let's just pop these in place. Like so, obviously. Get rid of this one. Just gonna make me delete the. Okay, there we go. See, gate goes up, gate comes down. Oh, and that looks like a gate. That looks like a gate. So does that as well. But I think I like that. And let's see if I can... That does that, so no, I don't want that. Okay, so what about... I mean, we'd have to look at it coming down that way, so... What about if we just kept this as this? Now, as much as I do like this, it's got that, like, white background to it. I am going to have to at least temporarily get rid of these... Just temporarily. So, I think that's the more believable gate. Oh, crap. <laughs> Bring that down. So, yeah, they, they, they do work. They do work. Okay, so at least now we know what we're going to do in here. So, let's just at least temporarily get rid of these archers. And that. But yeah, let me have a little play around with it in here and figure out how I want in here to look. And when I've got something to show, I'll come back to you. Welcome on back, folks. And we've gotten in some of this in place. As you can see, we've kind of... I did what I said I was going to do. I worked on this. And I also worked on some of these side bits because we're just using a very simple pattern here. Uh, just sort of repeating. And I've got a cat climbing all over my desk. We've also got these in place now. I went with dark oak. I know we haven't used dark oak anywhere. Uh, but I just kind of wanted the gates to be different. And they look sort of like what I'm going for. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something a little bit special with this entrance. I didn't want it to just look like this. It looks a little bit plain. And if we have a look over here, as you can see on the barracks at the back here, I've put one of these. So I'm wondering if we can do something a little bit similar to this over here so let's, let's give it a go let's give it a go i actually want some carpenters uh logs not logs uh barriers so let's just grab some of those i've got a bunch of those already made up got my carpenters ammo so we're all good let's go try this out so what did i do over here was it the middle one that was the uh spruce yes it was so it's five wide with the middle one being the spruce okay Although maybe here, because this is only a smaller walkway, maybe here we don't... Maybe here we do... Not exactly what I was going for, but... Maybe here what we do is we just do a three-wide one. I mean, that wouldn't hurt, would it? Let's put that in place. Uh, I should... 
I have any stone brick stairs on me? Yes, I do. I don't need these ones to be stairs. Or do I want the center one to be... Uh, I think I would like the center one to be the stone and the middle one to be different. See, we can mix this up a little bit. So let's go do that, that, and that. Get rid of this. Okay, and then let's pop this here, pop that, oh, pop that there, and pop that there. Then we're going to go underneath and we're going to look up to place these. So they place in this orientation. Yeah, we could place them in the other orientation, but I kind of like this orientation. Okay, and then what else did I do over here? Yes, we just have the middle one be it. And what we probably do is we probably... Hmm, do I want to put a... I don't know, did, did I put a floor on this? After I did those, then I ran the, the logs. That's what I did, yes. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. So what I did here was... We'll run this one up, and then we'll run this log across, like so. So how does that feel? Yeah, I'm feeling that. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. But again, we'll just do the same as what we did over there, over here. So we'll pop in the stairs, like so. Just pop in that one, so I could just pop that there. And then we'll pop this there, this there. And we'll carry on bringing this across. And then that way we get a bit of a feel for how this is going to look. Like so. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. But I think what this needs is, is it needs a central point And it needs a pillar going into the central point. Which I think is here. Now that does go behind you. Which actually works out because it will give us some depth to this. So if we bring this up here and then up here, that's starting to take a little bit more shape. And the more I'm looking at this, the more I've just realized that this is wrong. I was about to say, we could do with the, the logs on the outer side instead of the inside, but I've realized I've made this one a little bit different. <laughs> so we'll pop that there like so, and then we'll pop that there. Uh, we'll look down so I can actually place this in. Um, this should actually go down here. We could we could actually do this from here. There we go. Kitty, can you please stop crawling all over my desk? Stop chasing the mouse on the princess. Move it. I am trying to record a video here in your cuteness. Now I can't see my hop. Oh. Kitty cuteness, I tell you. Okay, so let's pop these stairs in place here. And we'll get rid of this one. And we'll do the exact same here. And I want to do this on camera because a lot of people, they don't think to do things like this. You know, you don't... It's not something you see a lot. So maybe this will give you some tips on how to do it if you want to do it in your own world, you know. I like to show some of the things that we haven't shown before. Um, yeah, we'll keep this going. Put that underneath. Oops, bit of a lag spike, that's okay. Problem with 1.7.10 mod packs is you do get quite a few lag spikes, but there's not really much that I can do about it, I don't think. Okay. So there we go. Oh, we've got this one in here. Now, when we do this, it does look very, very plain. So perhaps what we do is... You know what, I think I want to put this in here. I think I'd like to put this in just one down. Yeah, that works. And then we'll pop that on in over here as well. And that just breaks up the spruce just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now we want to get to putting in... Well, since we're here, we'll put in the floor. Uh, we'll put in the floor. The floor is only going to be one block anyway. And then we can figure out where we're going to put these posts. Because the question is, we obviously want to just bring this up one. But do I want to bring it up one here as well in the middle? How does that look? Or would I much rather bring it up like one here?
here and say here for example I think I like the the off-centered ones like this so we'll just do that and then what we can do is we can bring these along here like so and again I want these here so we'll pop those there these are gonna be the support beams that's gonna hold up the roof so let's get those in place here we're gonna whack them once with this to make sure they don't connect you know and in, in vanilla you could just use fence posts for this unfortunately they will connect though but you know maybe you like them connecting I just think they break what the sort of like look that I'm going for. So now we've got all of those in place. Let's just hit them. Nope. Right click them with the hammer to get in the exact ones that we want. Which are these like fancy ones. These are the ones we've been using. These are just to stop our men from falling off. You know, we don't want them falling out. Walking off here and falling off, do we? I mean, they're not very good men if they do that. Then what we want to do is we want to make these the fat ones. Or do we? So I, I think I'm happy with that. And then what I want to do is I want to just look down and do those. I'm going to do these before I go up there to do the, the roof. But the roof is going to be very, very simple. We're just going to do a little bit of a slanted roof. I think I may do a triangular roof, actually, now I'm thinking about this. You know, I think that would be nice. So rather than the slanted one that we've got, we can fill those in in a minute. Uh, let's let's go and grab some spruce and let's go grab some oak wood and then we can also have a, a little bit of a kip like the cat is liking to do on my monitor let's grab a bit of oak wood shouldn't need too much uh, maybe we'll just grab some slabs just in case can you move your pack it up kitty she's decided that she just wants to sit in front of my monitor um, that should do, that should do, that should do. Let's sleep. Okay, can I not sleep with something in my hand? Yes, I can. Okay, you've got to move, girl. I don't mind you being all cute and adorable. But when I can't see my monitor and I'm recording a Let's Play of Minecraft, it's better that you don't stand in the way. Okay. So now this gate ass is actually starting to look a lot better by just adding that. We've added some detail to it. We've also got to add the stone under here. I just realized I didn't actually add the stone to that. Uh, although I don't know if I want to. Not sure on that one yet. But anyway, let's grab these spruce stairs. And I want to put them at... Oops, no, not at that level. Yeah, like that. So did I, did I run logs? I ran logs. I thought I did. So let's put some logs on top of these first so we can actually run the logs. Where's my spruce logs? Hopefully we've got enough here. Put that like that, that like that. Oh, that one's the wrong way around. But since you've already seen me do most of the towers on, you know, you've got a general idea of how they're going to look. Uh, I'll finish most of this off camera, but I did want to. I did want to show this walkway on camera, just in case you know you wanted to build one yourself. There we go, and then we can bring it across, bring it around town, bring it around town. That's what you got to do if you want to blow a bubble properly. Oh, I used to be a fan of the yellow sponge when I was younger. I haven't seen him in years though. My daughter used to like him as well. Okay. So now that's it. And this is why I haven't put the roof on here. Because I don't know how high I want the roof to be. Because obviously we are going to want it to work with this. So let's pop this here. We just forget about that one. And because I do want this to like be seen from a distance. I am going to put a bit of a steeper roof on it. Just a little bit of a steeper roof. And as you can see, this is exactly why I didn't put the roof on these towers just yet. Because I do want these towers to peek out over this. So let's just pop this in place here. It's always that one block that you end up misplacing, isn't there? Pop this in place. There we 
we go. And we'll just... Well, I have these. And this is going to be the, the roof in here anyway, so let's just plonk that down. Like so. Careful, kitty. And then we could just... Do you know what? It doesn't make a difference. We'll just bring that up. Cursed it cat crawling all over my desk, and we'll put spruce slab on top. Yet again, another block. I don't think I got rid of that block that I misplaced last time. That we won't see that because we'll we'll fill that in. Kitty, I can't give you my attention now. And oh, there we go. We got a bit more of a gatehouse. I think the gatehouse looks pretty good. See how much that adds just character to it. So yeah, I'm gonna get some more work and finish these off off camera, and I'll bring you back to show you the final product. <laughs> Welcome on back folks, and I finished a guard's house. I kind of want to show you What they look like in a way so let's nip out here And we should be able to see them This is the final product So the roofs on them again. I've gone with the same roof. We've got on the barracks I thought about doing something different, but at the same time I thought you know what this really works and it just looks good and I tried to di distinguish the top bits from the lower bits and as you can see it is done on all four corners so now if we actually come down to that we'll just stand on top of Jace's house here he won't mind you can see the kingdoms really starting to take some shape and all of this from just really just planning over the past three or four episodes you know we planned out the wall we planned out the towers we just built this up over doing it step by step and that's what I kind of want to show in my build step by step building but yeah I just kind of wanted to finish off this episode I've spent the past couple of days doing this and I do kind of want to finish the episode um you know but let's say it's been the past couple of days I actually watched Doolittle today it was a great film if you haven't seen Doolittle or you're on the fence about going to see it because of the way that Eddie Murphy's version handled it you know don't be it's it's really different to what I was expecting and I loved it and, and Robert Downey Jr. was amazing in it but you know apart from that apart from that back to the guardhouse we've added this in place which is where the last clip left off and now I've obviously done the roofs and the windows and I tried to keep it simple because to be honest I'm a bit tired I've been working on this this wall and this barracks uh, for the better part of a week now uh, in my in my spare time and it's really coming along and I'm really kind of glad how this has come together but I've been neglecting some other things that I need to do and I think what I would like to do is just sort of shape out the way that this is all going to look you know sort of get rid of this phase this into this so I've got some sort of height so I can start putting buildings like over here because I think that would be I've got the air corps. I think having some <laughs> buildings over here would be really kind of cool. I, I'm not sure exactly what this is here for. Where does this go? At some point I had something over here, I guess. I mean, okay, if you say so, game. <laughs> but yeah, now we're kind of getting the feel for this. We're really getting the feel that you know, especially when you sort of walk through it here at this point, you know. And that breaks the immersion there, so I want to kind of get rid of that as soon as possible. I think this would have the immersion that I want it to have if we didn't have all of this here. You know, which is, it's it's going to take some clearing. I don't know if I'm going to do this using a builder or if I'm just going to mine it on a stream or something. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm undecided yet. Uh, but I do want to move all of our ME stuff like over here onto this island, at least temporarily. This would just be the island where we store stuff. You know, I may build like a big cube and just, just put it in a build. You know, just so it's safe, but... You know, I think that's for a stream to move everything over. I don't think that's ready to be done in an episode. <laughs> you know, there's a lot to move over. You know, a lot of storage drawers, a lot of deep storage units that I need to still hook up to my ME system so I've got a way of accessing my stuff you know but at the same time that's not where I was going I'm dumping my levels in here 
But at the same time, I'm really kind of happy with this. Yes, I need to go in here and I need to add in cracked stone. But like I said, I'll probably just do that as, as like a mass job when I've got a bunch of levels and stuff and I could just use the the replacing wand, the swapping wand without worry. You know, but as for terms of progress on the gatehouse, it's not the gatehouse, that's the barracks, this is the gatehouse. We now have this in place here. People can come in and out of our kingdom. They have an actual entrance, you know. Now, I haven't done the, the ground. And this is something I want to stress, you know. We haven't done interiors to these yet, you know. I haven't sort of figured out exactly how this is going to go. Yes, I lit this up. And I lit this up so mobs didn't spawn here. But that doesn't mean that we've done the interiors fully yet. You know, there's still things that I want to do. You know, I want to run these beams across here. So it gives the, the feeling that we're holding this up or maybe I'll do stairs here but I want to do this as an episode in and of itself the inside of areas to show how you can sort of break up the ground and the grass and sort of make it look like it's trodden on and make it look realistic and believable and immersive you know but, you know as for now coming to the kingdom we're sorted you know and all this in, in just a few hours worth of work you know we've managed to add in this this huge wall and if we just take a brief look at the map. You see our kingdom is really starting to, to grow in size, you know. And we want to put some houses along here and some shops and stuff, I'm sure. You know, but I may use this as to sort of like devise how I would like this to look. But you know, as, as for now, I'm, I'm more than happy with it like this. And so I think that's going to call it for this episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video... Please do consider uh, words. Words can be really hard sometimes. <laughs> please consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey Owen. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.